Okay, guys, lesson nine, market structure. This is for the students who are starting lesson nine and need a fast start practice guide. That's what I'm calling this, fast start practice guide. So all the lessons I want you to watch that I've already put out, but these are common mistakes or a suggestion I want video that I want you to watch to really get you going in this important lesson like market structure is the most important take your time let's get it okay so lesson nine common things uh or things i want you to focus on um one draw boxes to identify the trends so that's what i taught in the lesson okay so if you go to the student group uh there's this topic section here see all if you go see all i have i've created these they're examples of for each of the lessons so right now we're doing lesson nine in here you can use these examples so we're gonna we're gonna look at this example right now so what i just said was let me jump back here number one draw boxes to identify the trend and that's what this student did this is a student's example so uptrend downtrend uptrend downtrend consolidation uptrend consolidation okay so first do that second draw retrace lines in an uptrend so number two is draw retrace lines in an uptrend what does that mean okay so i'm going to use uh, this one tool here to uh, mark up my screen okay so once you make these boxes here I want you to draw retrace lines. So this is this is the I talked about impulse wave and then retrace. Impulse wave and then a bit of retrace. So I just need you to first know that when I say impulse, it's this mo movement upwards, and then retrace is when the price comes back. I first need you to know that, okay? Once you understand that then I'm telling you step two here. Let me go back to it. What I said it was step two was draw retrace lines and uptrend. So here's the uptrend box. We're going to, we're going to draw retrace lines. So impulse and then price retraces. See, you can see a retrace there. Impulse wave and then retraces a little bit. Impulse, there's a little retrace here. Impulse, there's a big retrace here impulse retrace so actually you see a bunch of like little ones here and then there so first i just want you to focus on uptrend i want you to be able to have this drawing in your head and then we'll, so this is impulse retrace and then draw the little line impulse retrace draw the little line impulse retrace draw the little line and this is what I call break a structure right here, BOS, break a structure. So first I want you to be able to draw these little lines here, right here in an uptrend. This is the first task, okay? Impulse, retrace, draw the line. Impulse, retrace, draw, draw the line. Impulse, retrace, draw the line. Impulse, retrace, draw the line. Impulse retrace and this is where it gets a little bit funky but i'm not going to talk about this yet so let's go back to the steps here so first first step was to draw boxes and identify the trend we did that you drew the boxes second step was draw retrace lines in an uptrend okay let's go back to our drawing so we drew in an uptrend, there's the retrace line or drawing. This is what I'm calling the retrace line. Retrace, 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 retrace. So we got that part. So step three, identify a break of structure. Okay, very important. So once we understand how to draw these lines, then I'm gonna delete this here a little bit. So let's follow it again. So we're going up. So this is the impulse. It's going up pretty rapidly. See these little little things here and then boom. So it's kind of going up, going up. This is the first part I would say a break of structure. You can see, see how I drew here? 
when it retraces, it passes this last uh, lower high, that's what I call break a structure. So, and that's when either the trend changes or it consolidates or a downtrend starts, right? We don't know. All Anything can happen after a break of structure. So all we want, I want you to know is how to track an uptrend. You have the impulse, retrace, draw the line. Impulse, retrace, draw the line. Impulse, retrace, draw the line. And keep doing that. And then slowly you'll start seeing a break of structure or a trend change. But anyways, that's uh, one part. Okay, let's go back to the, the steps here. So step four, it says look for consolidation or trend change. Okay, so right here, we can see that there was a break of structure right about here because, you know, impulse retrace, impulse retrace, and then it kind of crashed down. So here it kind of did a downtrend, but it is somewhat of a consolidation. And then the trend started going up. So this is what I call a break of structure. And step four was right here, look for consolidation or trend change. So after there's a break of structure, we don't know what's going to happen. We don't predict, we just follow the trend. Got it? We don't predict, we just follow the trend. Okay, so be able to draw this drawing in your head right here. I want you to be able to, on a piece of paper, draw this drawing. Impulse, retrace, impulse, retrace, impulse, retrace, impulse, retrace. And this is also a higher high, higher low, right? And then draw these little retrace lines. And then here, boom, break a structure. It surpasses that. And that's what we call the break of structure in an uptrend. And then after that, when we have a break of structure, we look for either a trend change or consolidation. Okay. That's all you really need to know about that. Now, what's the next step? Draw retrace lines in a downtrend. Okay. So let's go back to this drawing. So here, so now we're gonna teach you how to do the same thing, but in a downtrend. So impulse, retrace, impulse, retrace, impulse, retrace, impulse, retrace. And I messed that up one more time. Let me do that again. There you go. So, and then we draw, um, this is gonna be a lower, low, lower, high. And then, Notice this, very important. We draw the retrace line on the opposite side, right? Because this is in a downturn, this is the impulse wave, retrace, impulse, retrace, impulse, retrace. And then here, when price crosses that area, we call it a break of structure, right? This is the downtrend. I want you to draw this on a piece of paper. Have this, this in your head and this in your head always. It, let me erase that really quick. So here, let's go to the actual drawing. So here, we're still doing an uptrend, impulse, retrace, impulse, retrace, impulse, boom. See how these little lines break a structure right there? BOS. And then this is where this part comes in. Lower low, lower highs. And we're going to draw the retrace line on the opposite side. See how this, in an uptrend, it's... On this side, on a downtrend, the little line is on this side because in the downtrend, this is the impulse wave, this is retrace, impulse, retrace. So here we got it. Impulse in a downtrend, retrace. Impulse, retrace, impulse, retrace. So here, draw a little line there, boom, break a structure. You see, I just want you to practice that. So after a break of structure, you have some consolidation. Look at that. We have consolidation after a break of structure. Now uptrend. So do the same thing. I'm not I'm kind of being messy right now, but essentially keep doing this. And you'll notice that now we're hitting consolidation. But uh, now you get it. You basically here. Let me do this one more time again without uh, I'll just I, this is what I want you to practice. Right. So you won't have any on this on your screen right now. And let's go. Okay, so impulse, retrace, impulse, retrace, impulse, retrace, impulse, retrace, impulse, retrace, impulse, retrace. Mm, okay, so here, draw these lines. Boom, 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 boom. Break 
a structure. Okay. And then do the same thing on the downtrend, okay? Practice that. 